It was a blustery day in the Hundred Acre Woods. <laughs> the batteries Super. are already kaput. Because someone forgot to put the battery on the charger because someone, someone... That's your job. I always do it after I sign off. And someone signed mm -hmm. off a lot. It's super rainy today, but I wanted to show you. We got a package today from one of our lovely friends, Gina. She sent us a pamphlet of attractions from Birmingham. Alabama. Which we definitely want to go to because we're big Forrest Gump fans. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited for this. And I haven't, I'm going to do like a video about like, I'm going to figure out something cool and art to do. But like with all this coffee you guys send me, I want to do something with all the coffee artwork. Yeah. But this is O'Henry's Coffee Vulcan Blend. Super excited for it. Um, brewing it this weekend if I don't brew it before then. So thank you so much. And from Birmingham Candy, these marshmallow chocolates in the shape of Alabama. So we're gonna eat these and then we're gonna go figure out what we're gonna do because it's a rainy day. Like it's supposed to rain all and night. And this is what we're actually gonna do. So if you guys did not know, um, Friday is my birthday. So what we decided to do for this week is like a week of my favorite things. So today, obviously you can tell it's quite rainy, but we are going to go to the Wilderness Lodge for their movie Under the Stars, my favorite resort. Um, and it'll actually be in the train room in the DVC building because they won't have it outside uh, because of the weather. And um, we really like that building and they are playing a goofy movie. So this is like the start of my week's worth of celebrations. <laughs> kind of like two weeks because Andrew McMahon was your birthday gift. True. And like every day I'm like going to Disney World so like it's, <laughs> it's a good week every week. What's funny is Sarah's not the one to be like, it's my birthday week, or like, it's my birthday month. Right, so it is kind of funny. But and we're doing a birthday week. Right, and actually we booked our plane tickets to go to Chicago, yeah. and while we're there, we'll be celebrating my birthday with my grandma's birthday. Birthday month. Birthday month, yeah. Somehow it's turned into a birthday month. This is kind of like Pacific Northwest weather. Where's the Sasquatch? <laughs> It's suspiciously quiet. We're gonna hang out in this lobby later and see if we can hear it, but I don't hear any screams. I don't hear any ketchups. <laughs> we did just walk in, but we'll we'll give you the live in-person account if the shenanigans are truly over. It doesn't look like shenanigans are happening. Roaring fork. No. So we always are gushing about the guys are point. You should really try out Roaring Fork. They have a really good name. Alright, we're gonna show you how to get to the room at the Wilderness Lodge that they play the movies in. AKA the train. The train room. AKA and it's two dedicated to walk. Dedicated Paul and Kristen. She loves this room. Okay, so to get your bearings, here is the humble lobby of the Wilderness Lodge. <laughs> Still no loudness. Okay. Just me. Alrighty. <laughs> you have to cross this bridge. You must cross the bridge. This humble bridge. The humble bridge. So there's the Spring Canyon lobby. Frontier Mercantile. No, sorry. Frontier, Mer Frontier Mercantile is in Frontierland. This is the Wilderness Lodge Mercantile. You head through this door to the to the left. This is also the same building. It's actually in the separate building. This is the DVC building. Mm-hmm. Solely. Because there are DVCs, the Copper Creeks are in the main building. Mm-hmm. But this is Boulder Ridge. Boulder Ridge. Ring the bell for good luck. Ring this bell for extra good luck. No, it's for bad luck. <laughs> Just joking. 
when I went on that scary run, there's a, it's exactly three quarters of a mile between Wilderness Lodge and Fort Wilderness. It's over there. I ran it at night. Don't ever do it. Yeah. It is the most scary thing in Disney World. There is the bus. Um, the Susan. bus depot. Wanna see me hop this? Sure! <laughs> Whoa! This is my favorite thing if you've watched us. It's weird because you guys, if you've only been watching us for daily vlogs, uh -huh. you don't know us with our vacation life. Yeah. And we have a whole different channel about vacation vlogs. And like right there, that's my life. Yeah. A chair. Balcony. A balcony, even first floor. Mm -hmm. I have my coffee just to sit there and bask in the, mm -hmm. the temporary enjoyment of Disney World. Yeah. Until we moved here. <laughs> Alrighty. Man. So. It's not fun. It's not set up. Is it not rainy enough? I don't know. Hmm. Nobody there to ask a question. Yeah. It's always cold in here. It is always cold in here. There's games. Oh, there's Chinese checkers. All the train things. This train used to be in Walt's backyard. So even if there's not a movie going on, you can always sit and enjoy the fire. But we don't know why it's not it's going on. They set up the screen. Yeah, okay. This is the moment of truth reveal. So this is where the movie usually is, but when it's rainy, it goes to the train room. But apparently, it might not be raining enough, but we don't know. Are they deciding? Oh, yeah. I think they're setting up. Okay. Are well, they deciding if they're gonna set up? It usually starts at 8.30. It's 8.20, they have to do it quick. Okay, we got distracted, and I didn't ask for permission for a specific reason. They're setting up the, the TV now. But we were just standing outside of the reunion station, which is the, the new, like, DVC club lounge. Um, it's super exclusive, and it is expensive. It's 50 bucks a person per day. For your children, full stay. For your full stay. 35, I think, 33. or 33 for yeah. kids under nine. But Becky, the cast member, like saw us standing up there. I was like, "Do you have any questions?" We're like, "No, we're waiting for the movie." But and we had just actually looked up the information while we were out here before. And she was like, "You want to come in? I'll give you a quick tour." And she gave us a quick tour. And we're gonna—I think we might be sold. We've been thinking about doing like a Saturday night stay with Club Lounge just to like relax in the resorts and splurge a little bit to have a relaxation day. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna use our points, stay at Wilderness Lodge, and pay the fifty bucks a person. But. That's expensive, but if you're not gonna go in the parks, you can easily eat and drink your money's worth. Yeah, and they have wine, they have beer, they have they have a whole oh, you can breakfast, eat continental selection, breakfast and then they have a dinner and it's a seven night menu. So you're not if you buy it for fifty dollars a night, it's not like you're eating the same thing every night and it's different. Right. They have their own chef. It's not like your typical park food whatsoever. Right. And the wine selection is even from artist point. So even if you're a wine drinker, the wine is like faint like fancier when it's not house wine. So she even said if you have three glasses of wine you're literally paying that day that entire day if I have four beers because they've got yeah. they have four beers on tap or like on selection during that during the offering that's paying the 50 bucks let alone the breakfast the lunch and the dinner that we're gonna have they had pulled pork sliders tonight yeah like smoked braised pulled pork from good evening everyone if you're having a great day let me hear you make some noise Woo so we're gonna do a uh, One more when time. we actually Who's stay there we're gonna day. do our thing but we gotta get ready This happened to me in high school every day that I thought about Sarah. <laughs> hey, it's not even my name. Yeah, it's oh, sorry. He's my spirit animal. He's scrumptious. Let's do it, ladies. I don't want to be away from it all, Dad. I like when all you want to do is get your goofy movie on and you can see right there through those trees birthday celebration birthday birthday celebration but where will her dedication lie when her favorite part of happily after comes on <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no way she's not getting through that scene without reenacting the the archery. 
We've got private screaming. And we got our own little electric water pageant over here that just started. I don't actually mind that we're along with this as much as the fireworks. Yeah. It's just classic. Oh no, the most intense part. Out on the map, son. Okay, Max, now this is it. Left or right? Look at how beautiful this lake is. Can you imagine Walt Disney being here before any of this was built? Walking all smug. <laughs> Walking all smug like with the office reference. But look at that Bay Lake Tower, lights coming from Magic Kingdom, water pageant way over there by Fort Wilderness. Boats. You know this is top three places in all Disney World for us. It does, this little boy walked past with his, the freshest box of french fries ever. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta go to Walmart and get new windshield wipers and then go home to Everson. I miss her. She was real tired today and I think we're blaming Katie and Dustin's dogs. She had a long weekend. She had a long weekend. The dogs and she crazy. She like slept on the desk while I was <laughs> editing today. So sweet. We got a filter. We were stubborn and we'd be like, oh, we, we like the tap water here in Florida. But then... We didn't necessarily like it, we just like don't. But then someone pointed out something to us about many of things. One, it's not the healthiest water to drink. Two, one of the things that could be causing Eve's tear stains and... Uh, she heard her name, she's like, what you Eve's mean? tear stains and her itchiness could be the fact that we're not giving her filtered water. So that makes me feel like a terrible dog owner. But we, so we're fixing it. We got a Brita, and then coffee's always better with filtered water too. We're going to bed. We're home. We got our water filtered, magic bands off. Still have a cup of coffee <laughs> from Wilderness Lodge, but it's midnight, so I'm not gonna drink that. I like, my biggest motivation right now to get up is to not get up and run. I kinda wanna, there's two eggs left in the fridge because we didn't grab any eggs. It's like, get up and make those two eggs for us. And that Vulcan blend coffee. We can do that. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>